Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. We're going to be looking at the basics of graphing today. Again, this graphing will cover just the basics, the, um, the looking at a plane and the major parts of it that you'll need. This is a lesson that basically would be a foundation for um, any class pre-algebra through geometry where you might need to be using a plane, graphing anything on a plane. So here is what a general graph looks like. It's typically with two lines crossing like this, two number lines, a vertical number line and a horizontal number line. And they're labeled as the x-axis, that's our horizontal line, and the y-axis is our vertical line. The origin is the point where these two lines meet, right there in the middle. And that's where we'll start all whenever we're graphing a point you would always start at the origin, and I'll show you how we would we would actually graph a point. Um, the origin is called the point zero, zero. In other words, it's zero along the x-axis, left to right, and it's also zero along the y-axis, up and down. That's the starting point, zero, zero. Any other point on this graph is going to have an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate that are either positive or negative, and they start from the origin and move out. Let's go ahead and look at what this point would be. This point here, we start at our origin, up there, and we move four places to the right, and then five places down. So you see that we would start here and go one, two, three, four places, and then one, two, three, four, five places down. So our x value is going to be four, because we start at the origin and we go 4 along the x-axis. And our y value would be negative 5, because we go down 5 in the y direction, the up and down direction. So we would call this point 4, negative 5. Just a quick note about positives and negatives. We sort of touched on this a little bit when we were labeling that point. Starting at the origin, 0, 0, if you move left, along the x-axis, then the numbers will be negative. If we move right along the x-axis, as indicated by this arrow, then the values will be positive. So our last point, if you remember, was a positive 4 because we moved to the right. When we're moving up and down on the y-axis, moving up is positive y-values and moving down is negative y-values. Again, we saw that with our point that we had labeled that we went down along the y-axis, and therefore it was a negative value. Speaking of positives and negatives, it kind of brings us into talking about quadrants. The quadrants are 1, 2, 3, and 4. And in this upper quadrant, number 1, all the x values will be positive, and all the y values will be positive, because it's to the right and up. In quadrant number two, we move to the left and up, so it's going to be positive y values but negative x. So there'll be a negative comma positive in our any points that we have in there. In quadrant number three, we have negative x values because we move to the left and negative y values because we move down. And then over here in quadrant number four, we would have positive x values and negative y values, like the point that we gave as an example earlier. So those are the four quadrants, and also what values of points you would have in each of those quadrants. So that's something else that you'll, you'll see as far as the basics of graphing. So what we're going to do now is practice just a little bit, labeling some points. We're going to, we're given some ordered pairs, that's what these are called. They have x values and y values, and we're going to draw the points up here on the board. So the first point is 1, 1, and to do that we would go start at the origin, move one place to the right along the x-axis, and then one place to the left, or one place up, I'm sorry, on the y-axis. So that would be our first point, 1, 1. That would be this point right here. The next one is 2, negative 5. So again, we start at the origin, and we would go 2 to the right, and then negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and our point would be right around there. All right, so that would be the point positive 2, 
negative 5 right there. And then our third point, negative 3, negative 4, is going to be in quadrant number 3. We would go 3, negative, or 3 to the left on the x-axis, and then 4 down. So 3, negative 3, negative 4 would be right around there. Okay. Again, negative 3, and then negative 4. It's going to be right around there. And our final point, negative 5, positive 5, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative, and then up 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We're going to put a point right about there. All right, now my points are a little bit, you know, approximate, but they sort of show the point that we're trying to make here. And that's that we start at the origin, and we move according to the numbers. Remember, the first number is always our x value, and our second number is always our y value. The other type of question you might get is that if you're given points and you're asked to label them, so we have to label what these points are that are up here. Let's start with the yellow one here in quadrant number one. That one, we would move one along the x-axis and two on the, y, on the y-axis. So this would be the point one, two. All right, then let's go to, why don't we go over to quadrant three, our blue point here. For that, we start at the origin. We go negative one along the x-axis, and then negative one, two, three, four, because we moved down. So that point would be negative one, negative four. There. Again, kind of approximate, I, I don't know. Let's look at the green point up here. We started our origin. We go negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, negative 7, and then 1, 2, about 3. So negative 7, positive 3 will be the label for it, or the name of that point. And then this one way out here, the red point, we again start at the origin, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And because we're moving to the right, it's a positive 7. And we move down 1, which means negative 1 for our y value. So those will be the, the labels or the names for each of those points. And there's four examples. Again, the types of questions you might see. You might be given the ordered pairs and asked to actually graph them on the graph. Or you might be given a point on the graph and asked to name the ordered pair or to label the points that are on there.